Hello, I'm Desiree Dresher, Director of Product Management on the Oracle Student Financial Aid team. And in the spotlight, I will be reviewing the updates we are delivering with 24D. There are a number of features within packaging, aid eligibility, and our source service that are being delivered with the initial 24D release and the subsequent maintenance pack. In 24D, we are releasing a feature within packaging and awarding that will allow for greater flexibility and control in selecting the award year to use when packaging your direct loans. The direct loan fund calculations have been enhanced to better align with institutional policies by introducing a new configuration to define which award year will be selected when the loan period is a crossover between two aid years. This new script applies to all of your direct loan funds, including subsidized loans, unsubsidized loans, unsub medical plus and graduate plus loans as well as all academic models, including term and non-term. Prior to 24D, the system would select the first year with an ICER, which may not be desirable in all scenarios, including summer headers. You will now have the ability to access ICER, program, package, and disbursement data when configuring which award year should be selected to achieve the desirable results and extend the automation for those scenarios. With this feature, we are also delivering baseline configuration matching industry standards. The baseline configuration will no longer consider the ICER and will select the first award year, unless it is a summer only loan period, the first term is a crossover period, including summer headers, or if disbursements have already been dispersed in the upcoming award year to prevent any returns in edge cases. Once you opt into the feature, if you're not using our baseline configuration, we recommend adding an effective date to your configuration to ensure that existing awards are not impacted by the feature enablement. If you do not opt into the feature and leave the new configuration blank or the output result is null, the system will default to the existing aid year selection rules for direct loan periods. Additionally, existing bindings in the scripting API have been enhanced to allow the selected loan period award year to be accessed when applicable, such as through non-federal fund scripts, if the award year selected is required to match Title IV loans. Now looking at the additional features included in the November maintenance pack. Within aid eligibility, we are making 2425 ICER correction updates to account for some updates that Ed published, as well as their announcement that they will not allow for batch corrections for 2425. For 2526, we are making the annual award year aid eligibility updates, which will allow you to process ICERs for the new award year and provide projected aid offers to your students. And lastly, for 2526, we're making updates to the verification worksheets to align with Ed's suggested text for the new year. The Department of Education released a number of updates related to the 24-25 ICER, including the ICER correction level report, which we are now supporting the removal of the student's middle name and suffix. Uh, keep in mind that since schools have not been able to send any batch corrections for the 24-25 award year, this change has not had any impact on your processing. Additionally, the Department of Education made updates to restrict schools from correcting the ICER biodemographic information, as these corrections will need to be completed by the contributor. We've updated our baseline configuration to remove any auto corrections for these fields, and we have removed the ability for a user to manually update these fields within the ICER UI. In July, Ed announced that school-generated ICER corrections would be prohibited for the 24-25 award year. To account for this, we have made updates to the ICER discrepancy and ICER C code workbooks to move auto-generated corrections to a manual review task queue. We did release a Cloud Customer Connect post on August 6 outlining updates you can make directly to your configuration as well. With the November release, you'll be able to process ICERs for the new aid year, providing you the ability to send projected aid offers out to your students. 
The 2526 ICER specifications were published by the Department of Education with minimal format changes for the 2425 ICER file. And within the product, you can now receive, process, and view these files with support for comment codes, rejects, verification, discrepancy logic, uh, FTI requirements, etc. We have delivered baseline configuration that will help support automation and allow for easy uptake of the new award year. And while we do support sending ISA corrections for the 2526 award year, the Department of Education is not targeting to allow for batch corrections until January. Within self-service, you'll see that updates were made to the verification worksheet smart forms for both the dependent and independent students. While the worksheets have largely been unchanged from the prior year, we have aligned to the updated Department of Education terminology within the header, family size information section, and please note sections. As with all annual updates, there are a number of steps that you'll need to take within configuration as well as the admin UI to begin processing the new year. Within the delivered baseline, you will see that we've added the listed dates in regulatory deadline management configuration for the 25-26 award year. The general availability to receive ICERs this year will be December 1st per the Department of Education's electronic announcement sent out in August. However, Ed has not released many of the official dates for the 25-26 award year, so we used and incremented the dates from the prior year as a template. Please ensure that the FAFSA, ICER award year, ICER correction, and ICER verification start dates align. For the ICER configuration workbooks listed here, there were minimal changes from the prior award year, and for the document and PJ configuration, the baseline configuration logic was copied from the 25-26 award year. We are delivering two sets of baseline configuration for 25-26 this year because Ed is not accepting 25-26 ICER batch corrections presently. You will see one version that includes the updates to the ICER discrepancy workbook that will send all corrections for the 25-26 award year to a manual task queue and another version that has auto corrections for 25-26 discrepancies. We advise that you do not use the auto corrections version of baseline configuration or turn on ICER corrections until Ed will accept batch corrections. In the DOE file management UI, you'll want to enable the 2526 files that you wish to receive and send out with the exception of the correction files. That's going to be the CORE26OP and CORR26IN until the department specifies when batch corrections from the school will be accepted. If this is the first award year that you are processing an Oracle Student Financial Aid, you'll want to ensure your FTI SAG and SAG mailboxes are successfully set up and enabled. And lastly, we've included cost of attendance baseline configuration in this release by copying the 2425 workbook. For your institution, you can choose to update your cost of attendance as soon as you have your 2526 values available in order to provide more accurate projected award amounts for 2526. For more information on Oracle Student Financial Aid, see the Readiness What's New documentation at docs.oracle.com and these other resources. Thank you for listening to the 24D Spotlight.